I thought we could be just our few time to go before Kanyama attends the next break in the Vol event, which will be had in Spain. Here we have some investment in recognition news, as well as a message that Kanyama shared on social media. So welcome everyone, Kanyama is our subject of today's video. And if this is a subject that interests you, don't forget to like and subscribe to receive more videos like this. Let's start with this news, it looks like his uh, actual friend Dilatha is getting married. Here once again we had the image of Kanyaman associated with her at the beginning of the relationship during her pregnancy and at the birth of her daughter and this is also the case in future marriage. The two had a quick but much talked about and uh, tumultuous relationship they were just a lot both during and after the relationship ended. But life went on and the two seem to be very happy now. Thank God. And now we have another news from the same other who was once called Kanyaman a megalomanist and uh, egocentric. In case you missed the video, it's in the cards. On that note, he says he discovered that even with Kanyaman living in Italy, he continued to fulfill his legal obligations here in Turkey. Now Kanyaman is investing here in Turkey. I did not understand if it was a new investment or if he was referring to all investments. And it was only now that he discovered it. For this reason, he expresses prize to Kanyaman as a form of admiration that famous hit and careers. I criticized Kanyaman a lot for his uh, megalomania and the uh, anger that he could not control but now it's time to applaud the famous actor he made millions of euros in Italy and is investing in Turkey. According to journalist Mute, he also pays his taxes to Turkey. How that is possible, I don't know but a big bravo to Kanyaman. Here they use bravo bravo a lot in uh, Portuguese, oh, we don't use it much, right? But it would be a big congratulations to Kanyaman. I personally find this guy, this specific journalist, very strange. You always have to keep an eye out. There's a time when he speaks up very badly. There are times there uh, when he speaks very fast, very inconsistent. And no loss, but uh, not least, Kanyaman shared on social media. A fresh that fits so perfectly in the context of his entire life trajectory. He is always placed in the middle of controversies, they always require a position. And when he positions himself, they complain about his position. He is always very unfair. Then he shared a sentence that goes as follows You don't always need to tell your side of the story. Time will tell. Time is always responsible for showing who you really are. If he shared it, it's because he can definitely relate. And if you have been following Kanyaman's life for a few years, you know that this really fits his reality. He is always very faithful to what he professed, to what he shows us who he is, and even when they put him in that eye of the hurricane. He always remains the Kanyaman that we already know and what we know ill he is. So that's basically it. Share here in the comments what you thought of all this and I will see you